In this program, we will explore the New York State symbols in order of appearance along the geologic timeline. We'll start with the most recent organisms and rewind through history. The geologic timeline is a system of chronological dating that classifies geological stratigraphy, which is layers, in time. It's used by scientists to describe timing and relationships of events in geologic history. New York State's mammal, the beaver, is our largest rodent. Adult beavers average three to three and a half feet long and 30 to 50 pounds. They're active at night. Beavers build mud and stick dams and lodges on waters across our state. Lodges are usually elaborate drone structures with the entrance below the water line to provide protection from predators. To keep the animals dry and snug, the living quarters are usually above the water line. While beaver dams produce habitat for a wide variety of fish and wildlife, these dams may also cause damaging flooding. Beavers use their large front incisors to fell trees for food and building. These teeth continue to grow throughout the animal's life, so constant gnawing is important to keep the teeth from growing too long. Beavers will eat a wide variety of plant material, such as soft aquatic vegetation and the twigs of bark and trees. Their preferred food are poplar, aspen, birch, and willow. These highly aquatic beavers use their broad, flat tails and their webbed feet to propel them through the water. When disturbed, they'll slap their tail on the water surface. Beavers will mate for life. In late March to early May, females usually give birth to four one-pound babies called kits. New York State fruit is the apple. The apple is arguably the most familiar fruit in the world. It's grown in temperate environments around the globe, and its history is deeply intertwined with humanity. Depictions of large red fruits in classical art demonstrate that domesticated apples were present in the southern Europe over two millennia ago, and ancient seeds from archaeological sites attest to the fact that people have been collecting wild apples across Europe and West Asia for more than 10,000 years. While it's clear that people have been closely maintained wild apple populations for millennia, the process of domestication or evolutionary change under human cultivation in these trees is not clear. But New York and its apples in the fall, most excellent. The wild rose is New York State flower. There are a number of different species that grow in various open spaces across the state. Some grow in wetlands, while others, like the pasture rose, are found along dry roadsides and in hedgerows. All are characterized by having five, usually pink petals, above five sharp green sepals. Here on this closed rose, we can see the petals. If we look at the underside, we can see those five sepals. And most species, wow, are armed with sharp prickles which discourage browsing by cattle, deer, and up yonder naturalists. Preferring full sun, this flowering plant can grow in dense colonies from roots and underground stems. As a low shrub in windbreaks or hedgerows, the wild rose enhances both the landscape and wildlife habitat. Its flowers bloom from May through August. Beginning in July, the wild rose produces hips, or fruits, which often remain throughout the winter. Rose hips are high in vitamin C and are valuable as a food source for many species of birds and small mammals.
New York State Bird, the Eastern Bluebird, is one of the first birds to return north in the spring. Members of the thrush family, bluebirds occur in open areas like fields, orchards, and gardens, where they dine on a variety of insects and occasionally fruit. Male bluebirds are striking with a rusty orange breast and bright blue head, back, wings, and tail. Females are duller. Bluebirds nest in bird boxes and in holes in trees made by other birds like woodpeckers. Once considered rare, the eastern bluebird is more common today because of factors that include the ban on the pesticide DDT, protection of open spaces, and volunteer efforts to provide nesting boxes. Many people put up special nesting boxes along fence rows for bluebirds to supplement natural nesting cavities. Along US Route 20, there's a trail of bluebird boxes that stretches nearly 400 miles. New York State tree is the sugar maple. It's a magnificent forest tree that is abundant everywhere upstate. The tree is best known for its helicopter seeds, the sugar and syrup made from its clear spring sap, and its brilliant red or yellow-orange fall foliage. A mature sugar maple can be 60 to 80 feet tall and have a trunk more than two feet in diameter. It makes an excellent shade tree. Maple sugar and syrup are made from the sweet sap that flows through the trunk of the sugar maple something the Northeastern Native Americans were making before Europeans arrived. It takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of maple syrup. In addition to syrup, the sugar maple is prized for its wood. It is hard, strong, close-grained, and tough with a fine satiny surface, and is in great demand for furniture, flooring, veneer, interior finish, and as a high-quality fuel wood. New York State Reptile, the snapping turtle, is the state's largest freshwater turtle with some adult snappers reaching 35 pounds in weight and having a shell length of 20 inches or more. Often seen in or near lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, and marshes, they are easily identified by their distinct saw-toothed tails and jagged saw-toothed rear edge of their shells. These turtles are known for their defensive nature and if threatened will attack on land, but prefer to flee into water. Snappers often scavenge, but they also take in live food ranging from small invertebrates to young waterfowl or small fish. Between April and November, female snapping turtles lay 20 to 40 ping pong ball sized eggs in a hole in sandy soil near water. The eggs hatch in 80 to 90 days, and the quarter sized young immediately head for the safety of water. Snapping turtles can live 30 to 40 years. The ladybug is an orange beetle with black spots. It helps gardeners by eating tiny pests that ruin plants. The nine-spotted ladybird beetle, or ladybug, is New York's state insect. Brightly colored, relatively small beetles, they are generally a favorite of children. There are a number of different ladybug species, and as a group, they are common throughout much of the state. Adults live two to four months. Ladybugs are highly regarded because both larvae and adults feed on pest aphids. A single ladybug can eat 100 aphids a day, it's this fact that probably accounts for the old superstition warning people that to kill a ladybug is unlucky, and to release one brings good luck. Adult ladybugs frequently overwinter in groups, sometimes indoors where they will congregate at windows in spring and fall. Because of their beneficial qualities, several different species of ladybugs have been introduced to New York as a method of aphid control. Unfortunately, many native ladybugs, such as the nine spotted, are now rare because of these exotic introductions. New York State fossil is the Eurypterid. A close relative of horseshoe crabs, scorpions, and spiders, the Eurypterid lived more than 400 million years ago. Known as water scorpions, Eurypterids are thought to be among the most fearsome swimming predators of the Paleozoic era. They were found along the bottom of shallow, brackish sea that extended from what is now Buffalo to Schenectady and south to Poughkeepsie. 
The fossils are rare worldwide and only found in a few states in America. In New York, they're locally abundant in dolostone and shale that's 400 to 415 million years old. Most Eurypterid fossils measure 4 to 8 inches in length. New York State Gem, the Garnet, gets its name from the Latin word for pomegranate, Malum Granatum, because of the gem's resemblance to the red pomegranate seeds. With hard, sharp edges, most garnet is used as an industrial abrasive for water jet cutting, air blasting, polishing TV glass, and filtering drinking water, but occasionally gem quality stones are found. New York produces more garnet than any other state. Crystals up to 3 feet long have been found here, though most measure only 5 inches. Most garnet is red, but it can also be green, orange, brown, yellow, and purple.